Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot start the Windows audio service on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon and type in services. Best result should come back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and scroll down here and locate the Windows audio service. So go ahead and double click on that. And you want to select the log on tab and check mark or select where it says local system account and check mark where it says allow service to interact with desktop. And then go ahead and select apply and OK. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to go and restart your computer. And now, hopefully, let's resolve the problem. If not, something else we can do here will involve going into the registry. So in order to do that, open up the search menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is just select the File tab up at the top left and select where it says Export. File name, name it the date that you are making the backup. Set Export Range to All. So you want to go ahead and save it to an external drive because then if something happens to your computer, you can always restore it back. There shouldn't be any problems from what we're doing today. It's just always a good precaution when going into the registry. So anyway, we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. So go ahead and double click on that. Go down to Windows. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Should say current version. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. And then locate MM devices. Go ahead and just left click on that folder one time. And now you want to right click on said folder. So again, MM devices. And before you proceed, if you need to take pause and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we have gone under or expanded to get to this point. So anyway, we're going to right click on the MM devices folder and select permissions. And now you want to go ahead and select the advanced button. So where it says owner, click the change button, type in everyone, select check names, and then select OK, and select apply and OK. Select full control, make sure that's check marked in here, as well as for users, make sure that's check marked for full control, and select apply and OK. And once you've done that, you should be able to just go ahead and close out of here. And you will need to restart your computer for changes to the registry to take effect. So let's just go ahead and close out of here. So go ahead and restart your device. And there you go, guys. Should be as simple as that. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.